Hey there everybody, Pete Pardo here. Welcome to another edition of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility, the show on the channel where we take a look at some of the cool new releases in the genres of heavy metal, hard rock, classic rock, progressive rock, and jazz fusion. Those are the uh, musical styles that we cover here on the channel. Today we've got a cool little uh, independent release from a band from Alabama called Driver. Uh, I guess it's self-titled. There's not a lot of information on this band out there. I went uh, looking for like a Facebook page or a or, you know, anything, any information on these guys other than what I have here in front of me. And I don't have a lot, but I am going to put a link to their Reverb Nation page, uh, which kind of links to some songs and has some songs. And maybe from there you guys can kind of get to wherever because I, you know, this www.driver.ban thing just does not work. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. And there's really no other information on there. But anyway, these are a guy, this is a band from Alabama, like I said. Uh, they've been around for a while and they've gotten around to releasing the new CD. It's got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 new tracks. Guys in the band, we got Mick Fox on guitars, Mike Gillespie on bass, Paul Green on drums, JT Sober on vocals, and Taz Turner on guitars. Recorded at Bates Brothers Studios by Eric Bates, mixed and produced by Eric Bates and Driver, uh, released here in 2021. This is uh, really good. Uh, this is a good mix of kind of like classic 80s hard rock and metal. Uh, you know, you can hear some obvious influences from a lot of the popular bands of the time. I hear a little bit of Priest. I hear a little bit of Maiden, a little Scorpions at times, uh, a little bit of Y and T, and some of like the guitar riffing. More importantly, though, uh, JT's vocals sound so much like uh, Gilmore from Triumph. And some of the songs have, you know, some of the really heavier Triumph material. Coupled with his vocal style, reminds me of like you know Allied Forces era Triumph, which is not a bad thing by any means. A lot of really good up tempo, heavy songs on here. Great, great guitar riffing and soloing on this album, and the production is really good. It's very clean sounding, but lots of crunch in the guitars. Uh, it opens up with Trash Can Superman, and I understand based on what little info I was able to see on the internet. Uh, couple of these songs have been like in their set list their live set list and they've had they've recorded them in various demo stages uh previously but trash can superman starts it off a lot of fun you make it hard savage attraction uh light em up is a great tune you got the heat bullet train love is the first to go love that song give and take has got some tremendous tremendous riffs uh you got dying days a little slower heavy uh losing my soul and ride the rail and it's one of those CDs you play all the way through. It holds your attention the whole way through. And then, you you know, every now and then I would stop and be like, you know what, man, that's some pretty cool riffing going on there. That's a pretty headbanging tune going on there. And man, I like the vocals. And so this surprised the hell out of me. I, I played this probably like four or five times already. And, uh, and, and it's catchy. Some of the songs have really good hooks and really good choruses. So if you're like a fan of 80s hard rock and metal, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't like this. Uh, also, you know, I know they list like Motley Crue and some of those other kind of bands as like influences. And while I don't hear any of that in the music, I, I think if you can also appreciate, you know, like Rat and Dokken and stuff like that, uh, I think you might also like this too. But for me, it's just more, it's more about like the early 80s sound. Like I said, you hear some Priest, you hear some, uh, definitely some Triumph, you, you know, a lot of the other bands, a little bit of Scorpions. Uh, quite good. Y&T, that sort of thing. So... If you like that sort of stuff, definitely check this out. Like I said, I'm going to try my best to find some great link for you where you can go and get this or hear it or whatever because uh, I think it's worth checking out. So thanks to the guys for sending it to me. And uh, again, Driver, self-titled. Just go look up uh, Trash Can Superman. Trash Can, all one word, Superman. That's the kickoff song. That's the one you can kind of find out there. But uh, all the rest is really good. Um, yeah, Love is the First to Go, Give and Take. Good stuff. Good stuff. Savage Attraction, Light Em Up. Good stuff. Check it out. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Stay tuned for The Monster's Den tomorrow with uh, Rich Catino, Chris Allo, and myself where we take a look at some favorite 70s and 80s exploitation films. And then we've got uh, Martin Popoff and myself back in the Funhouse Friday morning for part two of albums that most people seem to dislike, but we kind of really dig. So that's coming up on Friday morning. So stay tuned for that. And a lot more here on the channel. Thanks for watching. I am Pete Pardo. Take care.